Hi everybody, I hope that you are well and I hope that you're ready to do some more phonics with me today. So what you need to make sure you have is a pen or a pencil and a piece of paper or a book to write in. And maybe if you're in school, you might want to use a whiteboard and a whiteboard pen. So pause the video and make sure you've got all the bits and pieces that you need before we start. Okay, so we have been learning about suffixes, haven't we? And I'm gonna share my screen with you. And we're going to think about suffixes after we've gone through some of these words together. Now I want you to have a look at the words that are on the screen, okay? And I want you to choose two words from this page. And then I want you to try and make up a sentence to tell your partner but you've got to use both words in that sentence, okay? So let me just do one as an example. So I'm gonna choose the word children, and I'm going to choose the word house, okay? And my sentence is, the naughty children made a mess in their house. Okay, so that's my one. I wonder if you can come up with some. See if you can do one that maybe is a bit funny. Or can you do some sentences that start with a different word each time? OK, so have a go with your partner. Take turns and you've got to use two words from this grid in each sentence. Off you go. Well, I hope you had fun coming up with some sentences together. OK, we're going to move on now to thinking about some suffixes. And we learned about a suffix the other day, didn't we? Oh, we're going to learn a new one today. And to do that, I'm going to show you a video. So let me swap over what I've got and see if I can show you this. There we go. Make that nice and big. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. So let's get back to what we were doing. Here we go. So I want you, first of all, to tell your partner about the two suffixes we've heard about today. One of them we learned last time and one of them is new. But can you tell your partner about the two suffixes we've heard about today? Off you go. So I've got two sentence stems at the bottom here that we could use to help us. The suffixes are, hmm, can anybody remember? We had the suffix S, didn't we? So that was the first one. What was the second one we've just learned? ES, that's right. So the suffixes are S and ES. 
Can you say that with me? The suffixes are S and ES. Brilliant. Then it says you add mm, when mm, mm. So we need to think about that. Last time we just added S, didn't we? So we now know about ES and we need to add that at a certain time. Can you remember when we add ES? Can you remember? We add it when there is a hissing sound at the end of a word. So let's use our sentence stem again. You add ES when there is a hissing sound at the end of the word. So let's see if we can have a go. I've got some words I'm going to show you. Hopefully they're going to come up. Oh, they've disappeared. Let's quickly find them. Here they are. There we go, brilliant. So I've got some words here and I would love you to have a go on your whiteboard or on your piece of paper and decide which suffix do you need to add to these words? Is it S or is it ES? Remember to listen for the hissing sound if you're gonna add ES. Okay, pause the video and have a go. Well, I wonder how easy you found that. Did you find it really easy to choose which suffix to add? Give me a thumbs up if you did. Did you find it a little bit easy, a little bit tricky? Middle thumb for that. If you found it really hard, give me a thumbs down. But I'm hoping you didn't find it really hard because we've had a little bit of practice, at least with the S already, haven't we? So let's go through the answers. Can you hear in some of these words we have a hissing sound? Hiss. Hiss. There's a hissing sound at the end of that, isn't there? So we need to add ES. Now then we've got a few where there are no hissing sounds. Window, drum, pencil. None of those have a hissing sound. So we can just add S. But then we have three more that do have the hissing sound. Fox, beach and push. And so those three, we need to add ES to as well. So I hope you managed to get on OK with those. Let's see if we can remember where we've got up to, shall we? So first of all, can you remember where does a suffix go? Hmm, call it out to me. It goes at the end of a word. Well done. What does adding S to a word do? Can you remember? It changes it from talking about one thing, a singular word, to making it plural, where we talk about lots of things, okay? And can you remember what else we can add to the end of a word as a suffix to make it a plural? Can you call it out to me? E-S, fantastic. Give yourself a pat on the back for really good phonics. OK, brilliant. I look forward to seeing you again soon and I hope you have a really, really good day and see if you can spot uh, maybe some different bits and bobs around that you can think, oh, would I add S to the end of this word or ES to the end of this word if I had more than one? There's a challenge for you. See you later. Bye.